Hey y'all. Okay, so here's the thing. I A, didn't feel like getting up. B, I really wasn't sure if I was going to actually record a review for Drake's um, diss track for Charged Up. This, um, his diss track to Mickey, Mickey Mouse. I didn't feel like getting up. I, I didn't. I was like, you know what? I'm already sitting here on the couch. I just wrote a blog about it. And I was like, maybe I should just like turn the camera on and talk really quickly. And tell y'all what I think about the song. <coughs> Our blog is um, Darrell. I don't know. I'll put the link in the little description box. I don't remember. Um, somebody ripped my beater. I don't know who it was. I don't know who it was. Not beater, but tank. You see that rip? Like it's ripped. Do you see? Do you see? It? Uh, the sun is shining. Thanks. Anywho. Um, so yeah, last night Drake released um, "Charged Up," which was his response. Or essentially a diss track towards Mickey Mouse. Here's um, my opinion. I'm all for a, a oh, nasty diss record. I really am. I love a good diss track. Um, I felt like Drake went Aubrey on us on this diss. It wasn't as I think he had with the amount of ammunition he has against Mickey Mouse. You could have went a whole lot harder than you did, Aubrey. In my opinion. However, a diss track is still a diss track because he's taking a high road, okay? He ain't really want to, you know, go live on the homeboy because at here's the thing. I believe at some point Drake had, you know, he liked uh, Mickey Mouse. Not like liked him, liked him. Like, I'm not starting no rumors. I mean, just like, you know, they were friends and they were cordial and things like that. So, he didn't want to just like go on and throw it all out the window like Mickey Mouse did all for a record sale because he's trying to go gold. Y'all know he's still like, that's, here's what I'm, I've told Drake, I need to tweet him, I told him I was going to um, ghostwrite him a new disc, a new disc record, with a couple of things that he can include in them, being, um, one, uh, Mickey Mouse album has been out for an entire month, and he still has yet to go gold, he sold like 2200, 222,000. Last I looked, and in order to go gold, you have to hit five hundred thousand, and then you know platinum is a million, and so on, um, two million double platinum and things of that nature. He hasn't even went gold yet, so that in itself says enough. You have a number one album, and you can't even go gold. That just says that a this is what this is what that statement says to me. Your album ain't that good. Your album was released with perfect timing and with mess around it. Because if your album was that good, we would have been gold. And to infinity and beyond. But we haven't even got there yet. So that leads me to believe that, yeah, your girl, a portion of the Barb's bought your album. And that's why you were the number one album in the country. Because you know he ride off the Barb's coattail. It's, it's just what it is. He put up a tweet sometime a while ago talking about some, I think it was, again, was it at Safari? It was at somebody he was talking about and he said, get them barbs or something like that. He rides on Nicki Minaj's coattail. So, um, that's one of the things Drake could have used in the diss track. Another thing he could have used is the fact that I believe in my heart, mind, and spirit that at one point he hit Nicki. At one point at least. And if he didn't, he could have. And that's in itself even worse. The fact that he could have, like, and didn't, in a sense. I'm just way too comfortable in this video, okay? You hear me? I'm laid on this couch. <laughs> um, I think he could have. He could have if he wanted to. And the fact that he could have, and probably still could if he wanted to, is enough to eat that little Mickey Mouse mind. At least it would be enough to eat my mind to know that you can hit my chick whenever you want to is enough to piss me off so he should have used that in the track too um oh um another thing he could have used was his net worth um alleged according to celebritynetworth.com drake is allegedly worth 45 million dollars and mickey mouse is worth a smooth three million way more than i'm worth but i'm just here to report the news so <laughs> he could have used that too i'm watching rocco's mind life by the way I am not watching now. I put it on pause to talk to y'all, but 
Um, he can use that too in a diss track. Um, that's, that's some more that I found on, um, you know, because I did some digging last night because I felt messy. And I decided, you know, let me just get on this WWWs and find some teas. I really, when I find out who ripped my tank, I'm going to go off. I gotta go finish washing these clothes. I forgot. So, that's basically it. Um, like I said, the disc record, you can find it on Google. It's probably here on YouTube. I watched it on some um, off-brand ass website. I just Google Drake, um, this Mickey Mouse. I mean, I put Meek Mills, but you know, he knows his name. Mickey. So, um, that's that. Um, let me know what you guys think about it when you take a listen. And if y'all want to help in this, um, write a couple of bars for the ghost write or the ghost rap that we're going to send to Drake. Um, you can email them to us at um, number one fame monster at gmail or you can send them to our library account the library radio at gmail.com let us know or you can just leave them in the comment section your little your bars they're called bars right yeah your bars for the um ghost rap all right love you guys for watching i'll tcyl peace